Okay. Power is still going down right now. That's bad. Why? Why is it going down? Why is it going down? Let's see if this fixes it. Regenerating ammo? Oh, that might be part of it, yeah. It might be using some power for the ammo factories. Okay, it's very positive now. All right. Uh, well, okay. The cobalt mining operations are fine. And there is... Um, none of that will really impact me. Uh, hold on, I'm going to swap maps. So Metallic Valley 1. I'm pretty sure there was... This base had was doing nothing. I think this was just the first Metallic Valley map I played on. So I might just sell the whole thing. I can't imagine I left comm stations here. And again, it's possible that it's a bug saying that I have five comm stations when I've only got three in the main base, but I, I don't know where the others are. That line, the loading screen tip that says, uh, if you have an autonomous small mining base, the resources will get teleported to your main. I, for a long time, thought it needed like the power line to to do that. I did not think that it would um, that it would be, be able to move that stuff on its own. Okay, so yeah, this base is not really doing anything for me, but it does have a lot of solid material storage, so I guess that helps. So there's, there's nothing really here. Okay, so Metallic Valley is fine. Outpost 2. Let's check that one. I know, I know, the vote's trolling, you guys, but it's, it's like, popping up as soon as I load in. Once we safely get above 14k of uh, Carbonium and Ironium without being attacked at the same time, I can upgrade the HQ, which will then trigger an attack. Mm. Is there literally anything here that's helping me? I don't think so. I think we can toss this one. So, if I'd sell the outpost and then go to swap maps, I think it'll warn me, like, you will not be allowed to come back. Did it sell all the stuff? I hope it did. If it did, my carbonium should be near full when we land. Uh, I found it. Oh, Wizards with a Gun. Yes, that was a game I showed interest in, yes. You have a remove outpost button on the world map? Yeah, but I wanted to double check it and confirm, not just nuke it from orbit, you know? But yeah, that is a good tip. I know you guys suggest this every time you should play PoE next league. I mean, I might be game. I, I do seriously enjoy PoE, but uh, I haven't played it in a couple leagues. Okay, ah, uh, yes, this outpost. All right, so this was the map where I am getting the um, morphium from. This is the map that's mining the morphium. And then it's getting teleported to the other maps with these machines. 
But I do not see any sign of the comm hubs. Okay. So last is the Palladium Outpost that we just made, and I'm pretty sure it's not there. Okay. All right. All right, let's go back to the issue for now. What does your shirt say? It says, uh, this is my human costume. I'm really a potato. Erelozen sent this to me, and it's actually a pretty good fit. So it's gone into my, uh, my, my, my rotation. I'm out, gotta sleep, stay strong, chat, remember, oh, I'm sorry. Miss Crow, you're bad influence. Have a good night. Uh, are you taking a break from Guild Wars 2? Yeah. I still, I, I stream seven days a week, and I still am playing Guild Wars 2 on Tuesdays, but I've done, like, it's still a wonderful game. I still love it, but I've done literally everything in it, so I'm just branching out with other content. All right. All right. It's almost time. Welcome to Flavor Town. A little bit more Carbonium. Your turn, chat. Your turn if you want to muck with the system. Yeah, it says I got six out of five comm hubs. What the crap is it talking about? I'm waiting for your vote to finish because when I start this upgrade, it'll it'll uh. It'll mess with the vote if it's in the middle of it. Muck with the system, yeah. These meteors are quite small, but they can still do some serious damage. Headquarters upgrade All right, so now I get punched in the face a lot. Attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. The main thing is, uh, the meteors just damage the bigger buildings, and unless it happens with an attack, it's not gonna kill them. But the small power lines can get destroyed, which can, like, shut down, th like, your entire base if you don't notice it. Thank God for AoE repairs, yes. Something that we did not have, uh, before the DLC. I know. I'm not tracking any more meteors. The danger is over. <sighs> okay. All right, so it looks like big attack from the south in 45 seconds. Um, <laughs> that might hit here. See. Didn't I have? I feel like I. I think during there was a big attack earlier. I had a base out here that got destroyed. Not, I could be misremembering, but I thought I had something out there. My sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Great. Okay, we're ready for them. <sighs> are we? What's the range of a plasma tower? Zero to 34. What's the, wait, what's artillery range? 60. I haven't really tried a plasma tower. Give it a shot. Uh, where is the lightning? I've been, enjo I've been a lightning enjoyer. Let's drop those. Base is under attack. Oh, no, 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 no. Sell this stuff, sell this stuff, get it refunded. One of our buildings has been destroyed. One of our 
I'm dropping temporary turrets here to help this base. Swinging hammer, throwing grenades, dropping gravity mines, dropping automated turrets. Taking a lot of damage from something, not sure what. Let's go check the other base. base is under attack. has been destroyed one of our energy connectors has been destroyed oh my gosh one of our portals has been destroyed that left base is gone Base is under attack. Right base is no longer under attack. All the threat is over here. Look, look at the disco lasers just going crazy. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. One of our walls has been destroyed. Wow. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so this base got destroyed. However, I originally made this base here um, to mine a carbonium patch that I did mine the whole thing out. So I'm going to sell what survived. And then repair this base. And then go over to this one. Oh, wow, look, everything's like full health. That one Morpheum turret. Wow. The I mean, the Morpheum turret puts like a small recharging shield on the buildings, but that was enough. I love watching no matter what you say, I come from Rocket Save with the Dad jokes. <laughs> I come from Rocket Save for the Dad jokes. I'm Dad. <laughs> At that point, chat, I was basically obligated. Technologies for development. Uh, okay. Let's take a look here. Technology. Laser towers level two is done. Headquarters level seven. And then we'll get access to other top research stuff. Hmm. What was the name of the legendary shield raising a quaggan? Shu should do. Pretty sure. Oh, whoa. What? Oh, this must be from the meteors earlier. I didn't realize this got hit. Uh, let's see. Morpheum plus 100. So I've got... I could do two more Morpheum turrets with that building and be still be fine. So let's do another one. So like right now these walls have 400 shields. And I think it's just gonna double that. Yep, 800 shields now. Yeah. So the Morphium shields are pretty strong. It's just gotta be in an area where you can utilize it. Um... doing some comparison. 
See, the Sentinel Tower level 3 is 15 energy a second. And it reaches 34 range. Attack drone doesn't say the range or the energy. Okay, let's compare. All right. <laughs> I've got my finger on the monitor so I can see the range of this. Okay, it's longer. So the range of the the the, the range of this tower is longer than the other one. It's hard to really do a comparison because the attack drone tower doesn't say how like how much damage it does and stuff. All right, can we make any more calm hubs? No, we can't. Can we upgrade any of our existing ones? We can upgrade an alien research thing. Okay. Makwachi from Idaho because we're... I, I hear they have good potatoes. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your time in Idaho. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take out that thing up to the north for the resources. Dropping gravity mines as I run, because why not? All right. Gun, lightning, scan. Gun, lightning, scan. Okay, let's pop this. You've unlocked a unique item. Basic lamp. Lamp! These meteors are quite small. Oh! Hi, you actually got- I wasn't so focused, I didn't even notice y'all were doing a vote. I gotta say, if I could if I, if I could pick the location of the meteors, I'd pick this one. All right, let's go back to base. And... Don't have enough of that. Oh, I can upgrade that gate. That's a weird thing to have missed. I still need titanium. Is over. That was intense. Oh, hi. There we go. More ammo storage. <laughs> Which me, ironically, in some cases, that's worse. Because that means if y'all do the thing where you drain all my this ammo, I lose more. And then it costs me more to refill it. Uh, it has been brought to my attention that this wall up here is very poorly defended. <sighs> Let's see. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll throw that down. And, you know, we were just talking about attack drone towers. Let's see what happens. It'd be interesting because they all have a very large range. I just don't know how good they are. And there needs to be artillery up here, too. Actually, I'm gonna change how those are positioned. Because I just realized, so the gas power plant, we can put way more gas power plants here with the setup we already have. Like that. So in two minutes, we're going to be getting so much power from that. Uh, what was the tech upgrade we just got? Headquarters level 7. Alright. Level 3 repair towers. Huge! Laser towers. Attack drones. Just all kinds of crazy stuff. What does it take to make fusion? I'm pretty sure you need titanium to make fusion power. You need uranium, palladium, and titanium to make what's probably the best power plant in the game. 
All right, 90 seconds on those, and then I'll go do the next DLC map, which should be extremely challenging. Where's my repair drones? There they are. Okay, I wonder if they were repairing something. It took them a while to get here. I just realized when that last attack hit, I, for the millionth time, sold this and never rebuilt it. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> We've got something bugged here, infinitely building. Uh, do you read the description in the game recommendation spreadsheet? I was thinking maybe replacing that with how long to beat. I I see the description, Metsuni, but honestly, like if I see a game and I don't know what it is, I almost immediately click the Steam link, uh, or or you know the link to where I can watch a trailer for it. Right. Um, usually that's how I, I I I go watch a trailer, and then I maybe will look at the um, what is it called the. Uh, like the God, the the vote thing, the when you go to Steam and you see if, if a game is recommended or not recommended or mixed, that thing. And you no, you don't need to add, add that to the sheet. I feel like knowing you, that would be what you're about to do. Uh, I I usually just click the Steam link, watch the trailer, and look at what other people say about it. Ow. Lots of carbonium and ironium from that. Okay. Pop back over here. And triple gas power plants are online. Very good. Okay. So with that. Let's go into danger. Bio manufacturing, bio manufacturing plateau. A large plateau within the metallic valley biome that is densely populated with hybrid creatures. It is probably a bio manufacturing facility and a likely source of hostile attacks against our presence. I'm intimidated because the monsters on these maps have been s scary, scary, scary. Why have you been destroying the ecology of this poor planet? I mean, we're basically the bad guys. Uh, the whole idea is Earth is running out of resources, and because humanity is a parasite, we just need another world to, to start f feeding off of. So you, you go here and you're trying to set up this thing called a rift station, but literally everything on the planet's like, you know what, let's kill this lady. And so you're trying to stay alive, and you know everything's trying to kill you. I am not detecting any this is new. factories yet. We have to walk around and search for them ourselves. This area is primarily flat and open. We should be able to navigate it quickly. I would like to gather more specimens of those large four-legged beasts if we run into them. I need to know the, the ones I just killed. The X-morph engineering within them. This might tell us where they're headed with their designs and how to combat them better. Oh, resisted. All right, let's try a grenade. No, oh, they're not resistant to a grenade. Gather Florian samples. Dude, it's like glass shattering when you kill these things, the cube things. Ooh, the laser's pretty good at fighting the dragonfly things. 
I never, uh, I never fought them before with that. Those are resistant. All right, grenades then. Dude, that game made you. <laughs> Uh oh. Ashley, I'm detecting dark energy bursts in a few locations around us. These must be hybrid biofactories. Dude! We should go there and the destroy them. Yeah, that was so loud. Of them. If we don't act quickly, they will overrun us. Let's get to work. All right, the laser's not great at those very large things. Okay, swapping to grenade launchers. Yeah, that's much more effective versus this stuff. We've destroyed the first biofactory. It looks like they were heavily defended by Exmorph defense towers. I think they expected us. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are I really like the lasers versus most of the monsters on this map. It's just the um what is it? The the factories, or the the building type things. They're not great with. Ooh, that vote is taking up a lot of the screen. Ah. It's your turn, Chad. It is your turn if you wish to uh, be involved. Eight out of ten on the samples thing. You took away my money again, Chant. DJ Mark in the house. Nuts. Dropping the booty. Sit down. Mm. Oh. Invisible people. Shoot, that's good. Oh, that was so cool. All right, that hurt. Factory destroyed. I think they're creating all these Florian creatures. They've been preparing to destroy us. Oh my gosh, the, fighting those is awful. Activity at the remaining biofactory locations. They are ramping up their efforts. <laughs> it's nine out of ten. Chad, I'm gonna do something really, really stupid. <laughs> like more than normal. Some of you may recall the last time I interfered with one of these things. I was given a very, very harsh lesson on how tough this map can be on Brutal. <laughs> that was during the sponsored stream. I got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> I'm gonna throw down every Porta turret I've got. <laughs> 